Hi, my name is Andy. I would like to give you an uh, today an introduction on how to set up an experiment with the Biotage Initiator 2.5 microwave synthesizer. This one here is equipped uh, with a robot that allows you to run up to eight experiments in a row. Before you actually get started, uh, you have to check on some uh, things. First, the air pressure that is connected, or the air line that is connected with the machine uh, has to be open. You should also be sure that nothing is blocking the robot arm. And the next thing you have to check is that uh, the actual vial cavity is clean and also nothing is blocking uh, the uh, entrance. So, in order to set up an experiment, you have to dispense your chemicals and reagents into uh, specific uh, glass vials that come with this machine. Uh, you should always use new unused vials uh, for your runs. Also be sure that you have a magnetic steel bar in it. Then you have to dispense your reagents into the vial. If you use solid, solids, be sure that no solid part is sticked on the inner side of the wall. So wash everything down with your solvent. And then you have to seal the vial properly using this crimper. You have to do this from at least two different directions to be sure. So you should not be able to turn the cap by hand on the glass vial. That's how you prepare the sample. Also, the surface should be even. After the run, in order to remove the cap, you have this cap remover tool here. Just put it over it and you easily get the vials uncapped. So you have two options to set up a run. Uh, the first one, that is what I recommend if you have never done any experiment with a microwave synthesizer before, you can use the wizard method. I'm not demonstrating this now. This method actually guides you step by step through the whole uh, experiment setting up. Uh, the other method is the quick method. Uh, when you choose here on the right panel uh, the editor function, on the left side you see a rack overlay position. So all the green dots here show positions which have been already used for previous experiments. All the non-colored circles here are still available for uh, runs. As I said at the beginning, you can run up to eight experiments in a row with this robot. So I want to demonstrate one short run. For example, we choose rack position number two by clicking with the uh, uh, pen on this uh, circle and then it lights up in yellow. That means this position is now set up for a future experiment. So you have to be sure that your vial is in the same position in the rack and is properly sealed. Properly sealed. So next you click on the edit button and you will see another button here, another line of buttons uh, which you have to go through one by one. So the first one shows for example the reaction time. So for this demonstration here I uh, choose a very short time of only one minute. Each time you change any settings here you have to confirm this with enter. So the next button here is the temperature setting. As I use now a water sample let's keep the temperature at 100 Celsius. I'm also going to confirm this with enter. So depending on which kind of reagents you use, especially if you use um, mixtures uh, that have uh, a, a high concentration of uh, solid parts, um, you should use also a pre-steering uh, time of at least 30 seconds or one minute to um, get a homogeneous mixture, but also in order to get a, a good temperature distribution uh, during the run. So in this case I choose a pre-steering time of 30 seconds only. Confirm again with enter. So then you have to check on the vial size. This vial size here is a 2 to 5 milliliter vial. So that's exactly what is showing up here. So we can leave this like it is and confirm it with enter. 
the absorption level is the next, which you have to consider, con which you have to consider. for most uh, compounds, for most solvents, you can leave the absorption level uh, as it is, normal. Uh, that is when you use polar compounds or polar solvents like methanol, DMF, uh, acetonitrile. If you use very unpolar uh, solvents like for example toluene or dioxane, uh, you have to set the absorption level to high. If you use anionic solvents for example or very polar compounds, you might think about setting the absorption level to uh, low. But for most reactions you actually can leave it uh, like normal. If you the other two buttons here, they are not so important. Um, you can add some comments, for example, for the run, and uh, so we just go further and apply all these settings. Now you can check all these settings again here on the monitor. So position one two, that is in rack one, uh, position two. The runtime actually is one minute. The temperature was set to 100 Celsius. Uh, the absorption level uh, was re uh, remained at uh, normal, and the vial size is five milliliter. So then just click on run. Before you start using this machine you can set up different user accounts. I have already done this uh, with my name. So we are using this one, Andy. Click on OK. Then you have also the choice to run this uh, sample immediately or to keep it in the queue and run it for example overnight or even at the other day or other time. So we want to run it immediately. So you have to confirm again with this button here. Now the machine is doing the rest for you. The robot arm takes the sample, places it in the vial cavity. The cavity is closed, protected. And you can hear a slight noise, which means that the pre-steering process started. And after the Sec uh, 30 seconds that we have set. The magnetron turns on and also the display changes as you can see. So once the actual run starts, you'll see this in a few seconds, the monitor shows you in real time uh, the pressure, the temperature, now the magnetron turns on. Just wait a few seconds. So you will see now in real time the temperature, the applied power to reach this temperature and the pressure. The experiments are run at higher temperatures and the temperature rises pretty fast and then it keeps the temperature stable at the set temperature level that was 100 Celsius. You can see this here with this blue curve. The pressure is not actually rising a lot as we use water as solvent and the boiling point uh, is exactly at 100 Celsius. So after one minute, it's only 30, you can also follow the time here, it's 10 seconds left, 9. The machine automatically stops the run and you will hear that noise coming now. Pressurized air is cooling down the sample or the vial pretty quick uh, down to 40 or 50 degrees Celsius, whatever you set in the machine. So once the run is completed, you can always review your results again by clicking on the results button here. If you click back on racks, now you see the circle also turned to green, which means the uh, run was uh, performed correctly. Everything was okay. Uh, in order to remove all these used while positions and uh, get the queue cleared again, you can choose all and unload all. And then you have a cleared queue and can do another eight runs.